You're facing your new project as a web developer, but this time you need backup. VS Code will be your trusty partner in your coding endeavors. Virtual Studio Code, or VS Code in short, is a source code editor. It's probably my favorite software tool out there. It's lightweight but powerful, it's neither too cluttered or too simple. So let's dive in to how to use VS Code for your coding career. So this is the VS Code welcome page. Let's start here. This is the explorer where you will see your files and folders. So let's open up a folder. We use this test project here. We can just drag it in. So if you have dragged in one project already, you can see this is the folder name of the root. And here you have your files. What I by mistake did usually is if I wanted to open a new project, I dragged it in like this. This will ask you if you wanted to add it to the workspace or copy the folder into this folder's root. So I click this. Then you see I have an untitled workspace with both folders inside. And this is not the right way to do. So let's reverse that. So let's focus again on VS Code. So here we can see our open editors, which is this one. That's the editor. That's our root folder. And these are our files. This is a finder. So for example, if you wanted to find document, we find in the different files we have here where we wrote document. What we can do is also replace. So if we want to replace document with something else, we could replace it here. And this will replace the term document in all of our files in our project. Then this is the source control. This is where you would initialize your repository to Git and GitHub. I have a separate video about that, which is linked in the description down below. This is a debugger. This is to debug your application, but this is beyond the scope of this video. So let's continue with the extensions. Here we have different extensions we can add to VS Code. And again, I did a video about that not too long ago, and it's also linked in the description down below. Then all the way down here, we have the settings where we can check for updates. We can change the file icon theme, the color theme, for example, to an ugly white color. So let's change that back quickly. <laughs> And then what we also have here are the settings. So here we can change settings, the font size, the font family, and all of those things. And that's pretty much it for the left side. Let's go up here. This is a pretty usual layout. But one thing I wanted to show you is the command palette. Here we have different commands which you can use in VS Code. It's a ton of them, so I can't go over that in this video. Another great thing about VS Code is that you have a terminal already included. And you can choose between different terminals, my example, PowerShell or Bash. And if I want another one that I have installed, I can do this, go up here. And then I have the CMD here too. We can also have different windows where we can have Bash on one side and CMD on the other. So here in our root folder of our project, we can add folders and files. And if we go to a file, let's say our CSS file here, on the right side, we have a little overview. In the middle is our workspace and on the left side are our projects. With control B, we can close the bar on the left side so we have more space if you have a more complicated file. Up here, we have the different tabs. We can toggle between and close them if we like. What we can also do is add a second tab. So for example, we can have the HTML file on one side and the CSS file on the other. Then we have two handy tools in VS Code, which are called IntelliSense and Emmet. Let's start with Emmet. Emmet is to autocomplete what you're writing. So let's say I wanna have a H3 heading. What I can do is H3, enter, and I will have an H3 heading and the cursor is between the tags. This makes writing HTML way, way faster. We have Emmet in many different languages like HTML, CSS, and many, many more. I'll have a link to the documentation in the description down below. Just a little example what we can do with Emmet. For example, if we have a list with three spans, instead of writing out, we can do this. Now we have the UL, the LI, the three spans with the class hello. As I said, there are many, many shortcuts in the description down below. Then IntelliSense is something we can use, for example, in JavaScript that will sense what we are trying to do. So if you go here and try to write a function, it will automatically pre-write some of the options we have. 
And this intelligence is installed with VS Code with the languages JavaScript, TypeScript, JSON, HTML, CSS, SCSS, and less. So let me show you some features in a more advanced project. Here on the left side, we have our files and folders. And down below, we have the outline. This is very handy for HTML, for example, where we can see the nesting. You can also use that in JavaScript and in other file types, but it's usually most useful with HTML files. Now here we have the timeline, which will show our Git commits. And last but not least, here are NPM scripts that we have installed. And that's pretty much it. Now you just have to code away your next project. A little bonus tip, we have a special view we can have here, which is under view appearance, send mode, which takes off all the distractions in VS Code so you can focus on your code. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave it a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.